All right, we are back. Crusader Kings 3, Part 2. Still in the tutorial, but we are about to unpause the game. Very exciting. Um, <clears throat> if you guys skipped over the first part, totally understand that. As that was just a lot of talking and clicking and exploring the UI. Anyway, looks like we are about to declare war on this loser down here who thinks he can get away with not being a part of our realm. Okay. So we select him via the map. Oh, look at that. He has a positive opinion of us. That's just gonna be too damn bad. Uh, we will use our Cassus Belly to seize the Earldom of Desmond de Jour because it is part of our rightful kingdom. Our objective will be the Earldom of Desmond. If we enforce our demands, we gain the contested territory. It will cost us 100 prestige because of the claimed titles, and we shall declare the war. Oh, look at that. That's convenient. We can just raise all our armies right there. Alright, you've successfully declared war. Next, you should rally your armies. The button has appeared at the bottom of your screen to help you. You can also do this from your military view. Whatever your rally point is, in this case, that's where your armies will gather and await your orders. Oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, my goodness. Because before, it was like everybody just fucking popped up in their own little individual places and you had to combine them. But now they'll just auto-combine. That's amazing. Raise them their armies. I understand. Move your army. Click on the army on the map. And right-click there you want to go. Perhaps the enemy capital. Ha 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 ha. Perhaps. Um... That's the only army I have. Haven't I raised raised all my armies? Unraised. Why aren't why aren't they raised? Is it because I haven't unpaused the game? Probably. Um, alright. Move your army, click on the map, ignore your army. Yeah, we're not fucking going over the waters. Oh, it'll actually automatically turn into a boat. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's the quality of gathering. Two days left. Okay, I see, I see. It takes a little bit of time to raise the levees. Okay. Let's go ahead and unpause. Alright. Wedding celebration. Look at that. Um... With my marriage, is it paused? Did it pause? I don't think it... Yeah, it paused. Paused, yes, good. With my marriage to Petty Queen Metzia, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding ex celebration. As well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to uh, levy an extra tax. Um... Hmm. Let's take the prestige. Who the hell is this? <laughs> I have received a missive from Petty King Aid of Connacht. It claims that Earl Ragenwald, my counselor, has requested support in a plot against me. Publicly accuse. No. Gain a weak hook. Alright. There's my... Good fucking lord. Earl Ragenwald can do nothing but confess when he is confronted with Petty King Aid's letter. It was never... It was not... How can I make this right again? Right, right.
Yeah, I do forgive. If you let everybody know how awesome I am. Alright, are you raised yet? Yes, levies are raised. We are paying cash every month. We have our army. Let us march on the enemy capital. Now that your army is moving, it's probably heading into battle with enemy forces. This can be a head-on encounter with other armies or the start of a siege. Battle will happen automatically. Similar sieges will occur when you place on a holding. Yeah, I've already unpaused the game. Shut up. Alright, between two armies depend on the number of things, the number of levies both sides have. Which, if any men at arms either side is using, the commander's involved and even train you're fighting it. Okay, so we are hacking and slashing here. Uh, let's unpause so we can actually continue killing them. That'd be good. We have six knights, they have five. We have way more people, they are dying pretty handily. While well, one of our knights was wounded. But we have, uh, knocked them out. Okay, your army is attacking an enemy holding. Click the highlighted icon to find out how it's going. Okay. Um, you need to win sieges to win most wars as they increase your war score. Whenever a siege is won, it takes a few rounds of attack. The area will become occupied, changing its regular look on the map from a solid color to striped colors. All right. Right, right, cool. And to get an idea of who's winning the war, you can always look at the war score. It goes from negative 100 to plus 100, and changes based on battles and sieges won or lost. At 100 score, you can force the other side to accept your peace offer. Conversely, at minus 100, they can force you. So very similar to how wars work in Stellaris. All wars end in one of three ways. Victory, white peace, or defeat. It depends on the casus belly. Excellent. Alright, how is this siege going? Nine months left, I see. Oh, we're paused. Well, let's, let's get going. No maximum of... It. Hey, where the hell are you guys going? I need to go beat your ass. Uh, can we... Are you gonna come try and fight? You want round two? Huh? Huh? Uh, my knight Furachach has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered and Jesus is merciful, he is... He should make it. There is nothing that can be done. Well, that's not very good. Alright, yeah, whatever, man. Get, get these... Get these... Get these losers out of here. Y'all suck. What does this mean? Advantage in my favor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't let me catch you around these parts again. Anyway. Back to, uh, let's see. Oh, desertion. Excellent, excellent. Stalemate. That's no fun. Wow, they're coming back for round three. Eight casualties every day? I eh, probably don't want casualties. Come on, get out of here. What's this? Enemies routed. Oh, I see, I see. Guy don't know when to give up. Ooh, disease outbreak. Excellent. Starvation. <laughs> yep, come on. Go away. How many more times is this idiot going to try this? Well, that's right. We were scheming there. Oh, so close, so close. Come on, go away, don't do it. For fuck's sake. Gain focused recruitment. Okay, good, good on you. 
Now get lost. I have a city to sack here. Ah. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, your war score is plus 100. You're now able to enforce your demands. Okie doke. Monsterian du jour war for the Earldom of, Des of Desmond. Sure. Uh, yeah, I understand. Um, enforce demands. We gain a contested county. Earl Muradak Makartak of Desmond becomes my vassal. Now I share 400... Uh, was that prestige? Yeah. Based on their contribution. Increases opinion of his allies based on their contribution. Spend for it. For it. Enforce the demands. Congratulations on your victory. You've now experienced what it's like to make it through an essential part of the game. Uh, the tutorial lessons end here. However, pieces of ice will still occasionally appear. Sure, I understand. Uh, to my liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. We gain a contested territory. And we get a new vassal. So be it. Disband all. There are many things you can do now that you have dipped your toes into the essential systems. It's about setting your own goals. We recommend you try to become the king or queen of all Ireland. War is not the only way either. Uh, I understand. Um, Barony of Baltimore. Alright, sure, sure. So, we now have a nice little beat captured his son? What the hell am I supposed to do with his son? What's this? Advice. Follow the highlighted UI to see how to do this. Oh, they've got a in-game... That's nice. Okay. Victory. Dismiss. Victory. Dismiss. Victory. 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 What, uh, what's all this? Okay, um, let's see. Ah, oh, you guys, you guys really hate me. Um, well, you you just hate me because you want to seat on the council. That's that's cool. Um, I don't know who the fuck any of you people are. What is your relation to me? Who this bishop guy is, but my realm priest endorses me. Well, I probably want that. Um, member of my dynasty. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Member of my family. That's my nephew. I don't know who the hell you are, but you're some somebody. You're just some random dude. Um. Uh, a point? What you need for this? You need the, the steward. Sh oh, well, luckily, you're an excellent steward. Um, sure. There you go. Now, now we're happy. Er. Happy er. Uh, focus on marrying off my oldest children. My half-brother. Okay. Let's marry you off, then, shall we? Um, I wish there was just, like, a fucking random button. Because I really don't care. Um, what's this? Brave? Temperate? Ambitious? Why not?
whatever. Um, my other half brother, you need somebody to marry as well. I don't think we want that. Statistic. <laughs> My goodness. Very sinful. There you go. Alright. They're all married. Hire a court physician. Treat disease and suture wounds to the best of their abilities. Well, that that's good, right? Select a character to fill the court position. Whoever the hell all these people are. My bishop. Poor aptitude. Terrible aptitude. Terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> uh, powerful agent in hostile schemes against me. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Um. I guess. Oh, stops endorsing me. Ooh. Yikes. Hmm. There you go, buddy. We can ransom him. For a favor. Whatever. Um, I don't want to change his contract. He's already a little antsy in the pantsies with me. Um, what the hell is this? Scheme. Uh, I gladly accept. Excellent. 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 Ransom accepted. Excellent. Excellent. Suede. Excellent. Um, let's pause it here. Let's... We need to, we need to make you guys a little bit more... What? Didn't we just... Oh, it just keeps fucking going. Alright, well, let's stop that. Abandon. So, what, what are you not liking here? Offensive war, short range, cultural acceptance. Fucking... Declared war. Yeah. That'll go down over time, so you'll be alright. Hmm. Sixteen years! Wow! That takes a long time to learn that language. We'll probably fucking die before then. <laughs> Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just sway. Alright, so we need to expand our little, uh, kingdom of Munster here. Or, well, we need to, we need to take over the whole of Ireland. So. Let us see here. We've got three titles. Mm-hmm. We have a claim over the entirety of the Kingdom of Ireland, which I assume we could use to knock over all of these people. Um, if we really wanted to. Now, let's see. Can we do anything with this? We can construct a... We can upgrade it. 
we can do some things here. Oh, yikes. All right, um, that's kind of in there, ain't it? So, did this finish? No way this finished. Yeah, I guess that finished, didn't it? So keep building or it's upgrade. So we've got tents, which we can upgrade. Which gives us more levees. Alright. Could be good. Lookout towers. Also gives us more levees and control. Okay, okay. Or we could just build an entire fucking new thing, but I have no idea what's good there. Lots of green numbers. Um, could also construct a keep, which uh, gives us a lot of stuff. But we need the battlements innovation. Where do we get that from? Military innovation. Huh. Alright, well in the meantime, let's upgrade that, shall we? Let's swing over here and um, let's build... Oh, jeez. Um... Get some walls and towers. What else do we got here? Defender advantage plus two. I don't really care. Uh, wetland farms. Some cash. Sure. Uh, some more cash. Some levies. Some damage boosts. Lots of levies. Some damage boosts. A little bit of levies. Some damage boosts. Development. Hmm. You know, since this is like a port city, maybe we should do that. Let's do. Let's do a trade port. Why not? Let's go with that. Um, then let's see our our temple over here. Which oh, we need we need cash. We should do anything there. We can get farms and fields, which gives a nice boost to that. We can get pastoral lands, which gives us more taxes, levies, defender advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, military camp, blah, blah, blah. monasteries, control room. Ooh, mm, yeah, I like the monasteries. Let's go with that. Alright. <clears throat> so, we've got buildings going. Um, we'll just let that go. And, um... Get some more cash, I suppose. Factions, decisions... Where do we look at, like, the innovations? Oh, here we go. Alright, alright, let's... Norse. Why is Norse right now? What? That's pretty random, but okay. Um. All right. Traditions and pillars. Sure. Innovations. How the hell we do this? Fortification rights, men at arms maintenance. It's expected to be discovered in about 387 years. Bruh. What? Horseshoes, 43 years. 390 years. How the hell do we. What is this cultural fascination bit down here? What is this? Greatly increases the speed of discovery. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to take a while, huh? And apparently we can go back even farther. We can start at 476. My, my. Uh, 391 years. 63 years. Coinage. Hmm. Royal prerogative. Hmm. Hereditary rule. Ah, yes. Cultural fascination, please. Uh, 
get rid of that stupid confederate nonsense. There we go. Hereditary rule. That's going to be our cultural fascination. Nailed it. All right. Um, I'm really just kind of waiting. Okay, okay, good. We're swaying him. Duchy titles. So we could try and... Try and go for this here. Kingdom titles, right? That's the Kingdom of Ireland. Scotland, England, Wales, right? France, Brittany. Sure, sure. Uh, Empire titles. Britannia, Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, okay, cool. Faith. Okay. Lots of Catholics. Ukanikushuweta, huh? Never heard of half of this stuff. Um, alright. Cultures. Irish. Yeah. Houses. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, what's that do? Governments. Development. I don't know what that... Why is it red? Terrain? Uh -uh. Counties? Whatever. Normal. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, construct... Oh, we can construct a new hole. That's right. We should totally do that. Um, once we get the cash. a city first. No matter what, we need a city. What's this? Pultic modes. Now you access. I don't care. Wrong type of holding. As if you rule, you may not personally hold city holdings. You will have to grant the holding to someone after. Who the heck are you? Greetings, my liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Trolley. It will be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. Uh, it is my pleasure. Okay, every guest is gathered in the Great Hall, and our gracious host, Earl Miradak has welcomed us all to the feast. I've been looking forward to this. Sure. As a funeral, we may not personally hold the city. Feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my honorable steward. He inquires about my opinion on investment opportunities, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. What is this? MLM pitch? I'm more interested in you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, it's a subject that fascinates me as well. Excellent. Look at that. Bam. We are friends. Uh, mutual spirits. What started as an ordinary face became an exceptional one, thanks to the presence of Mayor, whoever the fuck you are. And we spoke all evening on a manner of subjects. What a good evening. Excellent. Um, okay, well, that was pretty nice. What a guy. You know, we only just got done ransoming him back his son and wrecking his city, and, you know, here we are, best buds. Um, <laughs> okay, farewell, friend. Good times, good times. So we've almost finished this. I don't assume we can, yeah, we can only construct one thing at a time. So, first stage of this one. I may not personally hold temple holdings. 
What the fuck is this? Is this not a temple? Oh, no, 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 because it's a lessee, right? So I am the one that I hold this to, so right. So I'd have to build that and then grant it to some lower person. Uh... Hmm? Oh, Marshall Park. All right. What do we have here? We uh, already have all of this stuff. And what exactly does that do? Let's go for it. Alright, yes. So we won't be able to... We'll need to partial it out like we got the bishop friend over here. We will need to... Which is fine. So let's go ahead and construct a new city. Holding of N has got beneficial deal. All right, good job, good job. We have swayed our friend here, so now you are pretty nice too. Um, everybody's all right. So what do we got here? Religious relations. Um, sure, whatever. Uh, we can fabricate a clay. Vassal opinion loss, loss of piety, upset target. Huh. Okay, well, let's take a look here. How can we... What? Why do I not have a claim here? I should have a claim on the entirety of... Hmm? Norman, no more. Oh, Norman. Okay, gotcha. All right. King William of England, his vassals, and his whole family. If he did the call of Albion and embraced English culture. Okay, cool. Good good for you guys over there. Go team. Um, hmm? In Earl Ragenvolve's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Petty King Aid's claim to the Earldom of Ennis. Bruh. Who the fuck? You idiot! <laughs> Wait, this, this guy's got a fucking gigantic country. We don't need this shit. Now he's got a claim on the fucking... Mm. Oh. Harbor constructed. And we got our... other thing built here. Excellent. Excellent. Get a little more tax. It's good. What are we building here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prayer holes. Mm hmm That's good. Um... Alright. So, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna need to fabricate some claims, I guess, somehow. Because we can't just fucking go to war because we... want the entire Kingdom of Ireland, apparently. I mean, we have this. How do we... So, okay, so we need... So we haven't created the Kingdom of Ireland yet, because it's not... Yeah, there's five people that can do so. Okay, inside my realm. Inside that. Not yet created, right? So we need eight Du jour counties. There's only four of them so far. Uh, what? What is this? Who are you? What is this? Ulgard Rurk has a. Hey! I was reading that! Faith and religion. Hmm. 
Launch Piscini. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. Faith has a number of doctrines. These doctrines set rules for members of the faith and govern many things, such as gender, succession laws available, or what characters can hold temple holdings. Tenets at the top are special doctrines that give bonus or opinion options for your character, like the ability to meditate or participate in great holy wars. All sins also all, all faiths also have sins and virtues. Uh, all faiths have fervor, which waxes and wanes over time. How holy wars are going and more. Okay. It is easier to convert counties to your faith and counties of your faith. Resist conversion. Decide to abandon their current faith. Spawning a heresy. Heretical rulers will convert along with their closest territory and vassals. Okay. It's possible to create a new faith of your own. Doctrines and tenets will cost a certain amount of piety, depending on which tenets your current faith has. This is not something to worry about for your first character. It can be a very fun first goal to work towards when you're feeling more confident. Sure. I said I understand. All right. Um, communion. Yes. Armed pilgrimage. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more than we need right now, I think. So we're gonna. Let's see. We're gonna. What the heck is this? An unworthy challenge. At first, I thought the simple footman. A fool for stepping onto the training field. However, the battle proved more hard fought than I accepted, and it gradually became clear he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I'll try not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. Um, I could use more people like you. Who the hell is Nialgus Craig? We gain some stress. Hmm. We gain a lot of good stuff there. <laughs> we kill him and gain 28 dread. Goodness me. Um, where do I view my stress? What does that do? Vulnerable to mental breaks. Well, we'll just... Everybody gets a lecture. There you go. Um, almost done. Five months left. Aurora converted from Norway. Oh, nice, nice. So you're telling me you're now an Irish man, eh? Eh? Very nice. Alright. That's nice. That is almost done. This is going to take a while. That's okay. We do not have very much gold. Why is my unraised men-at-arms costing me money? What? <laughs> ah, okay. I see. Nice sway. I think we can stop that at this point. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need to sway people. What we do need to do...
what we need to do. Is... <clears throat> Let's see here. Duchy titles? Right. We need to fabricate some claims. What else we got here? Increased development? What the hell are you assigned to right now? Oh, you're assigned to collect taxes right now. Gotcha. You're assigned to... Hmm. You're assigned to organizing the army, yeah, whatever. Um, so right now you're assigned to religious relations, which gives us... Oh, you're pregnant. Okay, great. Um... Gives us all that shit. Whatever. Let's fabricate a claim on the earldom of this. 18 months left. Alright. Make it so. Uh, God wills it. Deus Volt. So we've got our... Uh, got our harbor. We've... Hmm? Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, I can construct shit in my vassal cities? What? Culture view. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I was screwing around with that before. Alright, well, this is good. Uh, culture is defined by... Yep, ethos describes a core value. Cultural pillars, traditions... Gonna knock a new perk for our martial lifestyle. Uh oh. There's shit going on here. Culture head is the ruler of a culture with the largest realm. You are the culture head of your culture. Culture head can establish new traditions for their culture. They also play an important part. Technological and societal develop, which we'll look at now. Very good. So we go to innovations. Innovations get new bonuses, buildings, men at arms. Innovations are grouped into eras, so most innovations are simply not available. Culture is currently in the early medieval era. Innovations are usually discovered very slowly, however, the cultural head can also make cultural discover innovation faster by choosing it as the culture's fascination. I understand. Okay. How are we doing here? 59 years. Yep, okay. Uh, what is going on here? I have seen how it happens. That's slightly in the middle of combat, the brief moment when neither side is pressing into the fray, and the melee breaks, like waves parting around a rock. Time to rearm with whatever weapons are stuck in a body. We gain the trait Reaver. Raid speed. Hostile county attrition. Okay. Sounds good. And we can pick a new trait here. We've got all of this crap, so let's see. Cassus belly cost minus 50. Or prowess plus 4. Hmm. Let's go with the Cassus belly cost. How is our claim doing? Alright. So, yes, that's interesting. We can. Um, I mean, it also looks like they can upgrade things too, but. So after this city is constructed, then we'll have to grant the baron, barony title to somebody there. How is... I can educate a child? Oh, there's my child now. Look at that. Praise St. Bridget. Men 
Zia has given birth to a perfect little son. So, uh, good Catholic name, a good Irish name. Sure, Fetchnack. May you grow to be strong and wise. Um, uh, cradled by sickness. Desperately want the midnight sneeze when he worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. Your son is not gaining weight as we would. Oh dear, that's not good. Claims are rolling. We gotta get some cash here so that when we raise our armies, we'll be alright. Because, yeah, we're gonna fabricate our claim here. And then we're gonna go kick them over. We supposedly have alliances with somebody out here. I don't know who the hell from, you know, our random marriages, but. Well, I don't know. Um. What is this supply limit? Hmm. Mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn, a fine sight, or a calm evening. My tank is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary, reeling from a blow. All hope of relaxation drains away. Drinking me dry. We gain generosity to mercenaries. Mercenary highest cost minus ten percent. Soldiers, throw them out. Get them out of here. De jour hierarchy. Right, because we are the petty kingdom, part of the kingdom of Ireland, part of the empire of Britannia, which has not been created yet. Ten four, good buddy. We are almost there. So we can get some. Okay. We're just biding our time. Adopt a ward and a guardian in my court. See, I don't want to do that. Oh, there's something different there. What's this? Star authority focus. Okay. Inventory. What? That's wild. Heresy? What is this? Duke Vristlav of Bohemia, wherever in the fuck that is. Where is that? Du jour, Bohemia, Holy Roman Empire. Alright, so that's like way across the sea somewhere. Um, having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Bohemia no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true. As Lollards, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God, and they are distancing themselves. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking converting. Get out of here. Irish are Catholics. Until, you know, we create our own religion. But probably won't be doing that in this video because things take... What is this? Duke Otto II. Where even... Where? Where is that? Can I see where that is? Take me. Take me there. Yeah, way the fuck over there. Because some random ass dude way over there. We're well, gonna convert to some crackpot religion. Come on. Fabricate the claim, baby.
Oh, we just upgraded their city. <laughs> Excellent. To the amicable merch had, I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain province. I found I have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the earldom of Ossery. All that is missing is one little bribe. <laughs> um... See it done, my good sir. Excellent. Now we have our claim. Unpressed claim. Ah, but we will be certainly pressing that. Oh, you're pregnant again? That didn't take very long. Oh, uh, what's this? A missive from Pope Alexander has arrived. It starts off with pleasantries and outlines the importance I hold in the eyes of the Irish people. Your practice of polygamy. What? I, I, don't, I only have one wife. What are you talking about? Ooh. Catholic doctor. Alright, that's fine. I didn't know that was even... Uh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um. Ah, excellent dedication. That's good. That is good. Now then, my friend here, we uh will be. Wow, we can just request the Pope to give us a claim? My claims. The Earl. Declare. Raise all my armies. Get your butts over there. Kingdom of Ireland will be formed. Yeah, so another cool thing that I didn't really touch on before. Um, I don't know if it's like officially supported or... What? I'm wounded. That's a big lame. Um, but I know some of the... Some of the Paradox games. So like... Um, since they cover different timelines, you, they'll have ways where you can like import your save from each one when you get to like the end of the playable time so like you can start off and like i don't know crusader kings or europa universalis i forget which one comes first and you know take your empire through each one all the way up to like hearts of iron where you're like rolling around with tanks and shit um seems pretty cool very time consuming but you know whatever some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone uh, how I what is this? Claim Minso when she interrupts me. What? What are we even talking about here? What is going on? Gains studying. Loses 15. <laughs> Stay with me instead. Um, he could use a tutor. How is our siege going? It's going wonderfully. Ah, perfect little angel. Good Irish name. Sure. Strategical impasse. Sitting around a map table, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Reginald eagerly points out all the prime targets. We should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Meridak explains we need to watch what our foes do and respond. It's my right to decide. I know how we can employ both strategies. 
Everybody gains everything. Or they gain 10 opinion of me. My martial skill. Well, let's employ both strategies. Why not both? As the little girl from the taco commercial asks. Oh, back for more, eh? Fuck off. This is my city. I don't know why those people just fuck off way up there instead of somewhere else, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Uh, court positions. My glory is widely known. Oh, here they come again. Dismiss. Dismiss. We'll read about court positions later. A little... A little busy right now. Um... My daughter-in-law has given birth to a son. Oh, excellent. Let's give him a good Irish name. We can unlock a new perk. What do we have here? That's a lot of bonuses. Movement speed. Naval speed. Let's go with movement speed. War declared. Hold up. Um, I have long covered in you. That's not very good because we are in the middle of a war. And some other fucking Frenchman joined this war as well. Great, great, great. That's not good. Okay. We need to enforce our demands here. Then we need to disband my army so that they can be replenished. Right? And then we need... Raise all armies. And can we increase the size? Yes, we can. Yeah, that's right. Go on, fuck off. What's the. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Excuse me? Why does this always happen? What the fuck? Bruh. Who the fuck? Kingdom of France. What? Why is the Kingdom of France involved in this war? Why? Bruh. Where even is my army? It's way the hell over here. Uh, yeah, I got fucking nothing. Literally, I'm 
I'm pretty much boned because the goddamn fucking kingdom of France decided they were just gonna sail their happy ass in here and what the fuck? Alright, fine. Fine. You want it? Fuck off. Get these stupid ass French assholes out of here. God fucking damn. Fuck face. Yeah, we lost control. No, no kidding. Wait, no. Oh, low county control. Powerful vassal. What? How are all my vassals powerful? Yeah, we're gonna be fucking declaring war on this asshole. You can. Goddamn, better believe it. Um. All right, vassals. So all of that. Goddamn fucker. Um, alright. County control. Let's figure out how to increase that. One of my counties is low control. Reduce taxes and levies. Raise or increase county control. Okay, you need to go to your council view and assign my marshal. Highly skilled marshal instead. Alright. Council. Marshal. Increase control in a county. Make it so. Two years. Goodness me. Uh... City of Kilmarnock, a republic, which is a barony rank realm. Wait a minute. City of Kilmarnock. Right, okay, because... Alright, okay. So this is mine. Releasing that to a bishop. Request <laughs> excommunication. So, we've got a few titles here. We, uh, need that because, well, it's part of the Kingdom of Munster. 
which, uh, you know, we need to recreate here. And we also were the Earl of it anyway, so we need to press that claim when we can. We also need... take over this. Um, oh yeah, so let's disband our shit, because that's costing us money. Um, Alright, we're gonna get county control back up over there. See, what I don't understand is why I need somebody to run this city when I can... You know, no problem do this one. I guess because that's like the capital of it, so... I don't know, whatever. Um... Mm, okay, good. Lost the trait sickly. Excellent. So why aren't these... ...increasing? Probably because we lost the... this. What do you have? You've got bastions and curtain walls, hunter's lodge, crops, fields... Um... Mm, let's get some military camps going on. Before France decides to come back. Fucking A, man. Lost my goddamn... to this fuckers. God. Alright, so... We need that back. We also need Len the rest of Leinster. We'll need to fabricate some claims, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Court positions. Assignments and honors you can give your courtiers and vassals. Each gives you a benefit at the cost of a monthly salary. Court position. Okay. Didn't even think about that. Ah. Okay, cool. Um... Dissatisfied vassal. Nice. Cost you a monthly salary. Don't go into debt. I understand. Alright. Artifact decay reduction. Seneschal. Alright. Well, for right now, we don't need any more. What? Oh, that's good. We lost incompetent tax collection. Because it lost it. Because we are increasing the control. Excellent. Kiddos like me. That is good. Okay. That's some good news. Good news. Okay. Uh, council. Hmm. Um. So, do we go after these people? Or do we... well, I don't know. I feel like they're, they're going to be the main problem. They're going to be the main problem there. Um, alright, well, whoa, shit, it's already been an hour and ten minutes. Fuck, man, these games. This game uh, is, is a, uh, it's a lot better than Crusader Kings 2, I'll say that. Um, oh, what's this? Uh, powerful vassal expects a council position. The mayor of some shitty city is not a powerful vassal. Um, like, I am sorry. Oh, my hook will expire soon? 15th of September. Alright, well, we gotta change your vassal contract then. I'm sorry, my man. What's this?
Hmm. 5% more tax. Let's go with some more levies. Ooh. You won't like that. What kind of opinion do you have of me right now? You're pretty chill, actually. Um... Yeah, you're pretty chill, so we can we can do that. Gives us an extra 42 levies. Gives us an extra 0.1 gold. Not really. It's an act of tyranny. Okay. Let's do that. Get some more levies, which is good. We, we got that. It's nice. Um, Alright, we are increasing our control here. We can get a new perk. Hit and run. Retreat losses minus 25%. Ooh. Uh, naval speed... I don't have any mounted people. What's this? Reduces the risk of commanding armies. That sounds good. Alright. Um, yes, so our taxes are going up appreciably here. difference between this and this. We can get lots of nice stuff here, huh? What's this? Additional taxes? Oh, very nice. Uh, so let me see my son in Airbrain and my vassal mayor is around the castle deep in conversation. That's good. Sure. Garrison size, siege markers, royal armories. Oof, lots of stuff in there. Um, okay, well, jeez, I'm getting sucked in again. All right, we gotta we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> um, this is ridiculous, and I could sink hours upon hours of time into this, just like an island. Island. <laughs> Very nice. Um, just like I do with Stellaris whenever I play that. So, we'll wrap it up here. Um, thank you all for watching. As always, if you've stuck with it this long, I know it's pretty long and I do apologize for losing track of it, but um, Paradox makes some good games. So, we'll see you next time when we come back with the uh, next on our list.